Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Time for another guide looking at popular modelling products. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. We've been sent a new product by Alexander at Medicos Details, and it's this. Medicos has released a range of Zeltbarn accessories, and they all come printed on paper, ready to cut out and use. Zeltbarn was a printed type of weatherproof covering. It had a camouflage scheme printed on it, but there were also other versions. And it was a sort of modular design that could be clipped together to create different sized tents or shelters. Zeltbarn was reversible, and Medico's details reflects that. You can choose options of autumn or summer side. So you're free to choose which color scheme you use. We're going to be building 010, which is their four-man tent. It's printed very clearly on a very high quality paper. The definition is excellent. You can see the scheme really well produced there. The idea is that you cut this out, but in the pack you get instructions as well. You get a little printed diagram of how you actually make the four-man tent. It explains where you need to cut and where you need to punch holes and so on, and how to assemble it. And a really great touch is you get a bit of history as well inside and how the system operated. In order to construct any of these, you're gonna need the following tools. A sharp scalpel or scalpels, along with a ruler for a straight edge. And here you can see some toothpicks. They can be used according to the instructions to make the particular shape of the tent to help you during construction. In addition, you'll need some glue and a punch will be useful as well. Here we're using some uh, punch tools. And we're gonna start. We'll be using it on this diorama for our Pack 40 anti-tank gun. We've got a base made out of polystyrene and we've just put into place some model scene grass mats. And we've cut out here a space for the tent so the tent can be in a sort of dugout. Taking our sharp scalpel and our cutting mat we're going to follow the instructions and cut out the zelt barn. Make sure you cut carefully along the line. And we're just going to work our way around until we've cut the entire piece out. Just run the blade gently to get the cut several times. Don't force it too much or it might snag and rip. There we have our Zelt barn cut out and you can see just how realistic it looks. It's time to consult with the instructions and it says how you need to bend and fold along these lines here. You need a blunt blade and you just score along the line. Now it's time to bend over the line. That's going to be attached on the inside. It'll just be a case now of gluing. This is just a standard white glue. Any sort of PVA will do the trick. Once you've glued it, you fold over and hold in place. With that drying, we're ready to punch through the marked holes and for that we're going to use our punch. Got a bit of rubber, you just line it up and punch through. And we work the other holes. There we are. Where the toothpicks come in is you use them to create a structure that you're going to drape the zelt barn over. We stuck the toothpicks just into a bit of foam board and super glued them. And this is going to be our structure. We'll drape the zelt barn over the top. But in order to get it to sit right, it needs to be moistened. And that's also going to create wrinkles. So what you do, we're just going to very gently moisten it with a bit of water and white glue mixed together. Wet it 
So again, this is white, blue and water. Diluted in a ratio of about five to one, that's five parts water to one part PVA. There shouldn't be any trouble with the printed colors running. The design is tested using water and alcohol and white spirit and should be resistant to all those different liquids. You can see the paper starting to absorb the water. And now it's nice and soft. We just start to shape it. And then it's just a case of leaving it to dry. We've detached our Zelt Barn. It's still got the toothpicks inside, but we've detached it and clipped the toothpicks. And what we can do now is test it in place on the diorama. We take our shelter, we just carefully embed it into the diorama. There we have one convincing shelter made of Zelt Barn ready just to paint around the edges. We could uh, keep it open as well. We've just sprayed some canvas by Panzer Aces just to weather the Zelt Barn a bit. We've still got some work to do on it, but you get an idea of how the tent looks. Here we use the four-man tent, available now from Medico's Details. Don't forget that you can take pieces of the Zelt Barn and use them also on your vehicles and AFVs. It's a great product. Thanks for watching and bye. There's more videos on the website and you can check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Bye for now.